have for a demo and for sale today is this very nice 1964 Gibson SG Special. Give you a quick preview of the guitar. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. We'll be playing some more a little later in the video, so if you want to just fast forward and hear more, go ahead and do that now. Uh, what's really cool about these uh, 1964 Gibson SGs? Not just the specials, but the standards. Cool thing is you still have the wide nut width, 111 16 inch or so. It'll vary from guitar to guitar because they're all kind of hand cut and crafted. But it's generally about 111 16 just a hair under most of the time. But that's the, the gauge we go by. So it still has that wide neck, which most players seem to prefer. But by 64, the girth, the thickness of the neck going this way has gotten a little bigger. Uh, it's not 59 profile yet, but it's not that pencil thin. Uh, so I'll try to provide measurements for anybody who wants them, but this one definitely has that a uh, little bit nicer 64 um, neck profile. Uh, also, you still have nickel parts. So this guitar is equipped with these uh, nice nickel parts, which look real cool. Uh, now the chrome is shinier. I think that was the idea was that it wouldn't fog out. Of course, now, funny enough, uh, most players seem to prefer uh, the aged look of the nickel. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll talk a little more after we crank it up here and play a little louder, right? <laughs> sounds out of this guy. Uh, this one is mostly original, like lots of vintage guitars, it's undergone some modest restoration. What's been done to it? Well, there's no heel crack, there's no neck break, nothing like that, just some little things. When I got this guitar, the tailpiece had been taken off, and it was set up as a wrap tail. Why do they do that? Well, uh, you can set it up as a wrap tail because if you look carefully down that tailpiece, you can see those holes right down in here. You can set these up as wrap tails. Same parts reused. All you gotta do is uh, at least remove uh, this part of the tremolo, take that off, or you could take the whole thing off. Well, the guy who owned this before me, or somebody down the road, uh, just took this off. So what I did is I restored it back to stock by putting on uh, error correct nickel tailpiece and error correct nickel bar. Uh, also, this was quite aged, which looks pretty cool. So. Um, and the nickel tailpiece that was on there wasn't quite as aged, so I just went ahead and changed both uh, so that they would match, look good. Uh, so these parts are both vintage parts from the early 60s, they're just era correct. Uh, the tuners also, uh, at some point, somebody put Schaller minis on there. Uh, they were the kind that uh, don't put extra holes outside of the existing uh, area, so you don't see any uh, holes or extra stuff uh, along the edges. It's all covered. So I think conversion bushings were used. Uh, but And the other final thing, little thing, is the pickguard screws on here were flatheads. I don't think those are original. They were the right size. So I replaced the uh, pickguard screws. Other than that, everything else is, is original. Uh, I don't know if I, maybe I forgot to mention, I think the input, the jack, the jack might be uh, replaced or there might be a new washer there. But the pots are original, the solder on the pots is original, they all date to 64, nothing's been messed with uh, in terms of the connection of the uh, pickups to the, to the pots, the switch, the plastics, all that other stuff, totally original. Frets are in good shape, a hint of wear, but not much. Uh, it will come with a uh, air correct case. Uh, it's, it's one of those brown deluxe soft cases or chipboard cases. Saying it's a chipboard case really isn't fair to it because it's a little nicer than that. Uh, but it's not the hard shell, the black hard shell. It's a brown, patterned brown case. You'll see it in the photos. It's got a Gibson logo on it. It's a nice case. Uh, so yeah, modest restoration. Uh, it's got the binding, which is stock on the specials and the standards, but not on the juniors. Uh, it's got dot inlays. That's one difference between the special and the uh, standard is that the special of the dot inlays and the standard, I think, has the trapezoid inlays on the SG. 
Um, but yeah, it's a great guitar. It sounds awesome. It's nice and lightweight. Uh, it's 99% original. Again, the only stuff I did do it was to try to make it as air correct as I can. And like I said, I put, uh, I, I restored the tuners. These are aged uh, repro Clusons, so they are nickel. Uh, but they work great in the student stability. Other thing to note about the guitar is there's a little bit of oddity to the serial number stamp. If you look closely there, there you can see it. Okay, the serial number is 240106. Now that stamp is not into the wood. It's just into the finish on the back. Finish is 100% undoubted original. I've black lighted, I've got over with a fine tooth comb. This is absolutely 100% factory original finish. So why then the different looking serial number? Well, my hypothesis, as well as the guy who appraised this before I did, or assessed it before I did, um, is that this probably snuck through uh, Gibson production without getting that initial stamp prior to finishing, because that's how they do it. They'd stamp it into the wood prior to finishing, and you'd see like kind of dark lines that would be there, and then they'd finish over top of that. This one looks like it snuck through uh, the process and didn't get a serial number. There's no evidence of there being any stamp or anything uh, underneath this. It's not been refinished, it's not been sanded, there's nothing there. And so before it left the factory, they manually put that serial number on there um, so that it would have the proper serial number. Um, it, everything on this is 64, including the serial number. It's not been refinished or messed with. So it's just one of those uh, oddities of history. Uh, but at the same time, it's a fabulous vintage Gibson SG Special. You know, it's got uh, a modest amount of normal player wear here and there. It did get played a little bit, but like I said, no breaks, cracks, or repairs to the body. And uh, mostly, pretty much mostly untouched electronics, except for maybe that, that jack there. So anyway, check it out. It's a 1964 Gibson SG Special with original P90 pickups. We'll close it out here by just playing it for a while, letting you hear what this thing sounds like. So here we go. Gibson SG. Check out the listing and tell me what you think.